Okay, so now we, we are recording and, and uh, I'll save this and we'll put it up to YouTube and it'll be on Ustream. So uh, do me a favor, introduce yourself to everyone. Sure. I'm Tim Young. I'm Managing Editor of Absolute Rights. Absolute Rights. And tell me what that is exactly. Absolute Rights is the world's fastest growing Patriot publication. We are a conservative and self-reliance based publication. We talk about uh, conservative issues, mm -hmm. uh, basically how to get Obama out of office and right. uh, how to make things uh, on your own, how to do it on your own. Okay. Now, you seem like kind of a hip, trend sort of a guy I mean I like to think that you, so what kind of give me an example of like an article that one might find on, on well I tell you what there's there's two different kinds of articles there's I love making fun of Obama I love uh, poking fun at him telling everybody how terrible he is I think everybody kind of knows that at this point yeah uh, but there's also things that we we bring to light like uh, I don't know if you knew this or not but when Google did their Google Maps program mm -hmm. and they took their vans around they were actually busted ripping uh, people's personal information off of their hard drives from computers. If you had an unsecured wireless uh, router in your house, they uh -huh. were actually taking the information off that router and the FCC did nothing about that. Mm. So like it's bringing to light issues like that and yeah. of course... And exposing, exposing some things that people don't get through the mainstream media. When, when your rights and liberties are at risk, we're there to tell yeah. you about it. So where are you based? In Austin? Austin, Texas. Austin? Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, how long have you been in Texas now? I've been here for a month and a half. A month and a half. I just moved from Washington, D.C. In fact, I was a reporter in Washington, D.C. for a couple of years, a conservative reporter. Nobody knew that there. Uh -huh. yeah. And um, I covered Obamacare. I was actually second row in the Supreme Court covering Obamacare. Well, that's interesting because one of, one of the uh, topics that we wanted to really talk about was, was Obamacare. Tell me something or tell the viewers something that they probably don't know about Obamacare that would frighten them if they did know. Oh, well, Obamacare is a slippery slope. If the government's allowed to uh, force you to purchase health care and force everybody to purchase health care, they can force people to purchase other things. And I think Justice Scalia pointed this out when he uh, when he was asking questions uh, of the government and of uh, Obama's attorneys at the time. Um, if everyone has to buy food, does that mean everybody has to buy broccoli then? Will, will the government regulate that? And well, it's like, like what's happening in New York with the sodas. Oh, with that's the disgusting. Drinks. Yeah. Because you no know, one can think for themselves. Why not? It, you know, let's not limit it to eight. Let's just go down. I mean, to sixteen. Let's just go down to eight ounces. Yeah. Why Might have well. sugar at all? Why and why not arrest fat people? Yes, let's just. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I would go to jail. I'd be I think. in trouble. Be, yeah, we'd both be in trouble. Yeah, I think. Yeah. No, no. I'm sorry. You can't come into New York. Uh, you need to hit the scales yeah. over here first before we can. That's uh, what's next. There'll, there'll yeah. be scales when you go in. You have to check in. <laughs> okay. So. Um, Absolute rights. It's your, your sign says where liberty is reborn. Yes. What other? Uh, I mean, what else are you doing other than uh, putting content out, like conservative content? Uh, are you involved in any initiatives or anything like We're that? We're starting to. That's why I came in from yeah. to become managing editor from DC. I'm okay. starting to go out and speak and really work with conservative organizations. Yeah. Um, and that's why we're here actually this weekend is to start networking and really working with uh, right. the GOP and getting our name out. Now, do, do you have, obviously, all that, when you were in Washington, you ran into the ultimate um, scenarios of political or, or politics. Um, what, what do the, the voters need to know about, you know, um, I guess we'll just say, what is it that, that they don't know that they need to know about? Like, well, like, we'll take young people, for example, who traditionally don't vote, you know, voter apathy is so high. I mean, t tell us something that might energize people and make them go out and vote. Well, you know, if, if Obama got away with passing Obamacare this time, what can happen next time when he has nothing at risk? You know, if he gets elected and basically is a lame duck for four years, you know, he can do whatever he wants. And it's really scary. If he's going to force you to buy health care this time, what's next? Young people are suckered in by the uh, Obama's pool. Campaign. Right, That's right. really all he is. I mean, if you take a look at what he's done, he's accomplished nothing. Um, he, of course, got rid of uh, Don't Ask, Don't Tell. That's about his major liberal success. But something that no one points out is that, you know, he said he was going to reverse all of George Bush's policies, and when he went into office, he did not, which means George Bush was right. Uh, and, and well, that's why we're catching everyone that we're catching, you know, that, you know, they, they complained about Guantanamo and some of the tactics, but in the end, you know, like you said, George... I, I have right. this feeling that Obama had this idea he was going to change everything, and he sat down and actually saw the facts and the, and the security things, and he's like, ooh, maybe, maybe this W guy was right the entire time, and we shouldn't have knocked him so much. And I think <laughs> history's going to prove that. Yeah. Um, in fact, it, it proves it now. I mean, it's, it's kind of like 
in, in legal terms, it's affirmation by silence. Yeah. You know, you're not hearing about reversing these Bush policies anymore because right. he was right. Because he was right. Yeah. So how do we find your website? It's absoluterights.com. Absoluterights.com. Folks, yep. um, we're here. Texas GOP convention will be visiting with more uh, delegates, more candidates, and more elected officials. And today, we are out of here. Thanks yeah. so much. Good to meet you, Tim. Nice meeting All you. Right. Hold on.